Hi, Axel here, Key Account Manager at Fox. We are back today on a tutorial on how to prepare an outdoor cable for a mid-span access. This is a very important process whether for distribution or fiber repair. And in this guide we will show you how it can be done. We will focus on armored cables. Remember to always verify the bend radius of your cable when using a splice closure. So, refer to your technical data sheet for more information. We have here a Wave Optics single jacket single armored cable with 48 fibers. This is one of the most popular cables for outdoor installations. Check the link in the description below for more information about our Wave Optics fiber optic cables. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the tools that we are going to use for this process. First of all, we have our Miller ACS tool. We actually did another video where we use this tool and you can watch it clicking the link in the description below. We also have a marker, a flexometer, some pliers, aramid yarn scissors, a seam ripper. We also have here a loose tube slitting tool and last but not least, some safety gear. Okay, so let's start preparing our cable. First, we will measure the length of the cuts we will make to access the loose tubes. The total amount of cable slack and length of the cuts depends on various things, like the type of cable you're using, its fibers, or if you're installing a cable into a specific type of splice closure. It is recommended though to make a 120 inches cut for cables up to 288 fibers, so keep this in mind. For this demonstration, we will make a cut of around 20 inches. When you know the total distance of the entrance point you'll need, check the middle point to mark it, and divide its total length to make two cuts on opposite sides. We take our flexometer and mark the two points with our marker here. We will now need to make a radio cut on one of the sides, so we take our armored cable slitting tool and we set the lever. We have penetrated both the jacket and armor. Now we set the lever to the straight cut position and pull the tool down the cable until we reach the opposite side. Here we will make a second radio cut. Now, we set the tool 180 degrees to make a second straight slit on the other side of the cable. This will help open an access point on our cable and as a guide for the rip cords. To access them, we will actually make a third and final round cut on our cable, about 2 inches from our first round cut. We will use our pliers now to take a little of the jacket and armor out of the cable to expose the rip cords. We now use the pliers to roll the rip cords around and use it as leverage. Pull along the cable to remove the jacket and armor easily. Remember to use the straight cuts on the cable as a guide. And now we remove them to free the internal components of the cable. Now that we have access our cable, we have to cut the yarn 
and the water blocking tape. So we will use our seam ripper here to carefully pull them off the loose tubes and cut them with our scissors. Now we have direct access to the stranded loose loops. What we're gonna do now is to cut the central strength member. So we first unroll the loose tubes and carefully cut it in order to remove the stranded tubes. Be sure to leave a tolerance of around 4 inches on both ends to use the strength member as a force reliever when using a splice closure. We now have free access to our loose tubes. We take our loose tube slitting tool to access the fibers. And we're done! You are now ready to freely handle the fibers of your Wave Optics armor cable as you need. If you have questions, let us know down in the comments. Visit Fonks.com and follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn. At Fonks, we offer a complete line of cables, assemblies, cable hardware, and multiple terminals available for your fiber optic network.